This up here is what I've really climbed up here to see. We're about 800 meters up, I think. And I think this might be rather special. We'll see. The path indicates there's something up here. So here we are, 720 meters up above Athens. And just like the Acropolis and the Parthenon at its center, Athens is beautiful to look over. Here we see the Olympic Village and Stadium, but we're 25 kilometers from the center of Athens. And right at the heart of that Athens, we can see the Acropolis and the Parthenon. And they are magnificent as we know, but I am standing at the site where they came from. And this is no quarry. This is an amazing place. It's just hard to visit. So stick with me and let's see where this came from. On the top of the Acropolis stands the Parthenon and the Temple of Athena, and people marvel at it in its white marble glistening glory, and quite rightly so. But very rarely do they say, where did it actually come from? Well, it came from here, Penteli Mountain, and the site where the stones actually came from is astonishing. So keep watching and see somewhere almost as amazing as the Parthenon itself. A quick diversion as we head up the path, because I'm sure this is a fossilised tree that I've spotted right by the pathway. Um, it seems to have broken into two parts. It's the trunk. And if I look in here, I can actually see rings um, of the tree trunk itself. Um, pull the grass back and this section here has rings on it, concentric rings. So I'm sure this is a fossilised tree. I don't know how old, but it's rock nowadays. But it seems to have broken into two or three parts. I just thought it was very interesting by the pathway. I don't know who's noticed it before. And still we go up. All these quarries, ancient quarries, quarrying this stuff, marmara, marmara in Greek, or marble to the rest of us. This is why marble's so cheap in Athens. Oh God, another climb. Yet another quarry, but no, no ordinary quarry. Don't think I'll be coming up here again. So I hope the camera works. There is, in here, a cave. And within the cave is a Byzantine, or a Byzantine church. And I presume this cave was discovered when they were quarrying this rock for the Parthenon. And I'm not going caving today. It's been bad enough getting up. I'm not getting lost down there. But we'll come and see the church and look down into the caves. Look at this. Wow. You can see where they've chiseled out the rock here. Straight edges. And some of it's left where it fell. Not sure I appreciate the graffiti. Look at this place. It's just magnificent. Even in here, there seems to have been some quarry. God, it's cool in here. There are some very, very old churches in here. Unbelievable. It was worth the climb, all 800 metres of it. Just astonishing. Oh, I'm going to have to go in a little bit, aren't I? Don't worry, Mum, I might be back. Can't even talk properly now. Is it the height? Is it the exhaustion or is it both? From climbing up here. I 
I'd fall and injure myself. That would not be good up here. Virtually no mobile signal. It's just a huge, huge cave. Disappearing off into the black there. Unbelievable. Look at these steps they've put down. Cyclops steps. Now this is the source of Penteli marble. And the Acropolis is made of Penteli marble. White, perfect marble. Marble, of course, is just really compressed limestone. And water will dissolve it, which is exactly what's happened here. I can hear the water dripping. And over millennia, this cave has formed from the dissolving of limestone and marble. It's even dripping on me now. Stand here long enough, I'd turn into a stalagmite. I think I got that the right way around. So what are we actually looking at? Well, this is known locally as Debellis Cave, named after an outlaw who hid here in the 18th century. But the cave itself is about 60 metres long and about 20 metres tall, and is part of a huge network of tunnels that are under Penteli Mountain. Um, some of them have now been closed off because in the late 70s and early 80s, the government and the US military did some very strange experimentation here that no one's really explained, um, and has led to a lot of myth and legend about this place and the paranormal uh, that may or may not occur here. The churches, there are actually two churches here, one which was built in the 7th century, AD and one which was built in the 11th century AD and this is where the Parthenon marble came from. This cave was uncovered in about 500 BC and they built the Parthenon from the end of the Persian Wars in about 630 BC through to Pericles in about uh, 435 BC as we see it now and this is where the marble came from. The stone here is chemically identical to the marble used within the Parthenon on the top of the Acropolis. And you can just imagine the people ranged up and down the cliffs here, mining the marble with hammer and chisel, and you can see the markings on the rock. It's just an amazing place. And then the path that I've came up is the path that they took the rock down. It was relatively easy to take it down using rope pulleys and carts, and then take it the 25 kilometers from the bottom of the mountain to the Acropolis itself. Getting it up the Acropolis was just the reverse, pulleys and carts. Um, but most of the mining was done here and the shaping of the big blocks was done here. And I'm sure this would be a far more visited site if it was accessible, but it's very difficult to get to. It's really taken me a while to climb up here. But even inside the church is amazing. This is a church built into the rock, which is over a thousand years old and the history in Greece when you look for it is just everywhere and just takes my breath away the beauty of this place the frescoes on the back wall there just amazing so before we go back down the hill I just thought I'd have one more look at Athens and I've come across these amazing huge blocks of rock which has obviously just been rolled off the top of the quarry here um, these are, I guess, 50, 60, 100, 200 tons. They're enormous. Um, and they're just sitting on the ground here. Um, they look like they're part of the ground, but they, they're, on inspection, they're clearly not. They are huge boulders which have just been rolled off the top of the mountain here and left here, obviously moved out of the way so they could get to the better stone, I guess. And I'll leave you with one more view of Athens from the top of Penteli Mountain here, the source of the Parthenon on top of the Acropolis. I hope you found this interesting. If you get a chance to come up here, do so. Uh, look for Develis Cave. Um, and please like, please subscribe. Um, and I will have many more videos on my site. Some hopefully like this, where I can show you something that perhaps the tourists just would never see, but in my opinion is just as valuable as the beautiful Parthenon itself. Uh, I leave you with the Olympic Stadium and the views over Athens. So please enjoy.